project at hand. Is this a valve guide reamer bushing? This is the guide part, and this is the centering cone, is what they called in the book. And normally they would have a taper, 45 degrees in most cases, I think, maybe even a little more. But you use them in, in with the with the valve guide system. This would have an O-ring on that right there, and but it's a it's a good fit with O-ring tolerances. I made this in some time ago, uh, and and they're dedicated to the size of the valve seat, and this centers the 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 guide. This centers the reamer with this system like that, it'll center that reamer in the hole with the guide. And this step fits into where the, the valve seat would be at. I, I think a little more accurate measurement than the cone type. Uh, with that said, I've got a, this is a bigger size here for that three horsepower uh, M. And um, so I've got a piece of 2 inch 60 61 uh, aluminum and uh, 5 eighths normal size right there on that hole in the middle right there but if you can if we can I'll show you this this bushing guide it's a very nice sliding fit very I'm, I'm proud of that so, and now, now all, our next step is to face that off and then turn a step right here. And uh, we, did, we did some math over there, so I do know I have to take a little off. We take it a little off and get a measurement. And it's one of them, whatever kind of cutter that is right there, that Grizzly 2 sells in that cutter bit right there. It's carbide something. Not sure if it's steel or cast iron. We'll see. <laughs> Get a measurement on that. Well, yes. Uh, the hole was um, found the dimensions with this little thing. The one that has the legs goes out yonder way. You know. To draw up the blueprint there, to refer to to bring you up to speed, is this is our block right here, uh, just first impression numbers one and five eighths. That's one point six two five thousand. So that's just nominal sizes. Uh, figured about a quarter inch there. Well, I'm gonna change that to about a half, somewhere whatever, whatever that distance is that I got right there. We'll see what it is in a minute. That's the step. And then whatever it cleans up to be on the body part will be okay. Uh, within limits of about an inch and a quarter total. And, and that's where it was sawed off to be, so there'd be no waste or whatever it cleans up. 
But uh, with the measurements I just did right now, and I come out with uh, with, with that thing up there, and then checking it, and then poking this down in the hole right here, and doing that right there, and kind of come up with uh, one inch, three hundred and sixty-four thousandths. So with, with that number, well, let's see what we got. Uh, one and uh, nine seventy-seven. Okay, that's what I got right there. One point three six three and a half. Let's let's make it. Okay, one and three uh, six four. So let's um, uh, doing it the easy way to know how much we need to take off that. Uh, let, let's just zero this out. Okay, now we'll measure that. And that's uh, 0 0.603. Okay, we'll see what we got now. Uh, let's see right back here. Okay, we got 1.859 and we need 364s. over and see what we got. You know, all it is is a reamer guide for valve guides. Replacing valve guides. Kind of about there is probably good as I can do. Just a hunk of aluminum there started out two inches. This is their size right here. Uh, I never did measure. Let's see what that ended up being right there. That's one nine eighty eight is the outside diameter on that. The drill bushing and the drill bushing guide. These are hardened right here. Comes in assorted sizes. But made that on a grizzly lathe. They say you can't do that. Oh, what is it? She says, what is it? The girl on the left, she says, wait a minute. Said, you didn't tell them what it was. I'll show you. It's a 
drill bushing guide. So the 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 job at hand is to drill those worn out valve guides away. So you need a guide to make that reamer to be in true with this head. So if it's in there a snug fit. Really, really good on that side. And then your reamer bushing would go in there. And and there's an O-ring goes on here. Kind of, it does help. It takes up a little little uh, vibration, maybe a little dampening effect. Uh, the reamer go here, and you just drill it out. But would be my contribution to the world today. Valve Guide Reamer Bushing, made in Tennessee, Shop Dog Sam. Now y'all come on back in a couple of days, we'll make something else.